why are we still here? Just to suffer. Every night, I can feel my wait leg. For it, wait for it, and my arm. his belt disappears for a fingers. couple frames, guys. The body I've lost. The comrades I've lost. Won't stop hurting. It's like they're all still there. You feel it too, don't you? I'm gonna make him give back our past. Loud House is about to change in 2021 and people are not even talking about it. Guys, don't miss this video. All right, so there's this person on YouTube named Kolobi Productions, and I'm just gonna get straight to the point. He's probably the worst content creator on YouTube. He makes really lazy clickbait videos. He steals other people's creations and then says he made them. And he also makes really poorly done cartoon rap battles for some reason. Which, of course, he stole the idea from two other content creators. But we'll get back to that later. So in this video, I'll be talking about the piece of shit, Kolobi Productions. Oh yeah, and before we start, I know every single YouTuber on planet Earth says this, but could you please hit the subscribe button? I want to get to 50 subs. That would be epic. Alright, now that you're hopefully subbed, let's begin. So, a long, long time ago, back in one of my old videos, I said I was going to make a video on Kolobi Productions, but then the recording failed, and I didn't want to do the whole recording all over again. Yeah, you're about to see why. Guys, for a split second, his mouth disappears completely. This is insane. Yep, that sure is some quality content. So as you can see, this is basically the laziest content you can make on YouTube. But wait, there's more. As you can see, all of his videos are either 10 minutes or more. Meaning, he's putting mid-roll ads in them. That's right. He's getting paid to make this garbage. I'm not getting paid to make these videos, and yet I put more time and effort into them than Kolobi does with all of his videos combined. Oh yeah, and of course, since he's trying to make all of his videos 10 minutes or longer, he stretches out every single word he says just to get a few extra seconds on the video. How's it going, guys? Happy holidays, if you're on holidays. Guys, how many of you guys like animals? You like pets? I like pets. We all love pets on this channel. But anyway, guys, what is going on? It's been a minute. It's been a minute since we'd heard, you know, the Loud House news. Guys, go ahead and drop a like on this video, you know, in the next couple of seconds here. Make sure you're subscribed. But anyway, guys, there is some new changes coming to the Loud House in 2021. And guys, it's not what you think. Trust me, guys, these are going to be some big changes. And today I actually have facts. And I have evidence of what is going to happen. You guys are not going to want to believe. You're not going to believe what the Loud House is about oh to my do that's going to change it never the show ends. forever. It just goes on and on and on and on. This guy never shuts the fuck up. I'm going to get a headache editing this video. And that's just one type of video he makes. He also makes these animation error videos, which... 99% of the time aren't animation errors. He's just complaining about stylistic choices in cartoons. Pay attention to the fries in the background. There are a lot of fries on the floor, and literally when Mr. Krabs comes down, they all vanish. Very, very strange. I mean, where did those fries go? It didn't have enough time for someone to clean it up. We didn't see SpongeBob or Squidward cleaning it up with a broom. It literally just disappeared. Gee, I don't know, Kolobi. Maybe it's because we're supposed to be focusing on Mr. Krabs and not the fries that are on the damn floor. And Kolobi acknowledges this in the video. Now, guys, going on back to this animation error, I think the animators must have just been focusing on something else. They were fo focusing on drawing Mr. Krabs. So even he's aware that he's full of bullshit. So if he consciously knows what he's doing is wrong, why doesn't he stop? Well, if he doesn't clickbait little kids, then he won't get any views or money. The only reason Kolobi Productions can survive on YouTube even though everyone hates him is because of little kids. Kids who don't know any better but to click on this garbage. That's why I think we should ban anyone under 18 from using this platform. Wait, so Kolobi makes three other types of videos. I'm gonna be talking about his rap battles the most, so I'm saving that for last. So the other two types of content that he shits out are things you didn't notice in insert cartoon name here and 
top five cartoon characters who've sworn. Both equally garbage and full of lies. His things you didn't notice in videos are definitely things you've noticed. You'd have to be a fucking fetus to not. Actually, no. You'd still have to be in the womb to not see these things. Near the end of the Loud House intro, all the characters sit down. But there's something that you guys didn't notice, and it's really strange. Let's zoom in and... Lucy is smiling? Lucy Loud is smiling. Are you telling me that Lucy Loud is smiling in the intro? How? I mean, Lucy Loud is a character who's all about gloom and darkness, and, and sadness, really. She doesn't like to smile at all, but in the intro, she's smiling. A character being three-dimensional and not just having one emotion the entire series? No! Crashing through the crowded halls, dodging girls like ping pong balls just to reach the bathroom hall. Did you know that when Lincoln is running across the room, he's the only one in his regular color and the other characters are not? This is pretty fascinating to see. I'm done. I'm done. I'm fucking done. I'm done. Bye. You guys can make the rest of the video yourselves. I'm out. Kalobi, I swear to God, at this point, if you're not trolling, I'm gonna laugh my ass off. Hey guys, welcome to Top 10 Shocking Things You Didn't Know About Cartoons. Did you guys know in the SpongeBob SquarePants show, SpongeBob is yellow? That is crazy. crazy, guys. All right, since I can't watch the rest of that video because I'll kill myself, uh, let's move on to the next one. Take the picture already. You told me to stop. Can I be in the picture? Dang it, Billy. I'm gonna tear your head off. One of the older cartoons on the list. Pretty crazy stuff because Graham literally said, you know, dang it, Billy. <sighs> I'm about to speak enchantment table. What kind of brutal fucking childhood did you have to make you think dang it is a bad word? So as you can see, this type of video is basically the same thing, you know, Kalobi clickbaiting kids. So let's go to the final one. Car tune rap battles. This is the last type of video that Kalobi makes. And as you'll soon find out, is the worst. Okay, hold up. A hedgehog that does cardio? So right off the bat, Kalobi stole the idea from epic rap battles of history and verbal ace. Don't believe me? Here's some evidence. Car tune rap battle crossovers! Epic rap battles of history! Mario versus Sonic! Today we have Mario! Sonic! So right off the bat, he stole the idea. Oh yeah, and just to add insult to injury, because he was getting a lot of comments saying he stole from Verbal Ace, he made an entire rap battle against Verbal Ace, and it's fucking terrible. But I'm getting ahead of myself. First, let's talk about the animation. Well, for someone who believes he knows so much about animation, he sure can't fucking do it. Okay, first of all, you can barely call this animation. He only draws about two frames and then repeats them for five seconds. Second of all, the style changes like every scene. There's no consistency. And last but not least, he traces. Traced here, traced there, fucking traced everywhere. Jesus Christ, talk about animation errors. So, ironically, Animation is not Kalobi's strong suit. But hey, there's a chance that maybe the rapping might just be good. It's not. Listen, Kalobi, if my dog can spit better bars than you, you shouldn't even be in the rapping business. Show was so lame, it puts me to bed. Dude, what is that thing on your head? They can beat me. A fox versus Luigi? You're soft, can't you see? I'll kick you in your knee. Wow, this one's actually pretty well animated. I mean, yeah, sure, it's still traced a little bit here and there, but maybe Kalobi's actually improving with his animation and learning. Oh. 
Never mind, he just got someone else to do it for him. Wow, how much fucking lazier can you get, Kloby? You already trace in your videos, you already put zero effort into anything, but no, just pay someone to do it now. And of course, knowing your greedy ass, you're probably paying them in goddamn pennies. You didn't even put any of their names in the description. Kloby, I know exactly what you're doing here. You're trying to hide their name, so everybody thinks you are the one who animated this. You also put your your name down as an animator too. Hmm, I wonder which part you did. Kloby, if you know you're bad at animating and you know you're bad at making rap lyrics, why the hell are you doing animated rap battles? But wait, there's more! So remember when I said Kolobi made a rap battle against Verbal Ace because everybody was calling him a ripoff? Well, of course, Kolobi made himself sound like a god at beatboxing, and he made Verbal Ace sound like he sucks. Which basically just shows how much of a narcissist he is. Let's just do a quick comparison real quick. Here's Kolobi. <laughs> Now here's verbal lace. And how does Kolobi portray verbal lace in his video? Verbal <laughs> redeeming qualities in Kolobi Productions. He fucking sucks. I didn't know a person could suck this hard until now. Thankfully, Kolobi Productions is here to prove me wrong. He clickbaits little children, steals other people's work, and makes himself look like a god compared to everyone else. Fuck you, Kolobi. I've seen bad YouTubers. I've seen really bad YouTubers. I've seen criminal YouTubers. But nothing is as bad as you, Kolobi. From here on out, Kolobi, I declare you the worst channel on YouTube. Thank you for watching this long ass video. This is the longest video on my channel so far. If you really liked what you saw, please consider subscribing and liking the video. Uh, yeah, I don't know how to end these long things, so, uh, bye.